Dear friends, you are all familiar with our Naval Legends project. It's about the history of 20th century warships that have been lucky enough to survive until now. In the comments under these videos, you frequently ask us to tell you about many other ships that are also interesting and important from the perspective of their naval heritage, but unfortunately haven't survived until the present day. So, today, with great pleasure, I want to present a new project on which we've worked together with the Underwater Research Center of the Russian Geographical Society. The fall of destroyer Vittoria. The heroine of this story found her rest at the sea bottom a hundred years ago, and numerous legends have grown around her story. Thus, we decided to bring them back from oblivion and unveil them for you. We hope that you'll find it interesting and that your interest will help us continue this new project. The ship was torn in half. The aft end has never been inspected. It happens that an object can be entirely without a name, but its condition, the number of artifacts it holds, and the volume of history that one can obtain from it make it a Klondike. There's no deck as such. It's quite hard to navigate. The current is almost non-existent. Visibility is about two meters. I mean, we almost always work by feel. Everyone died. The real story that we're faced with when we find objects on the bottom, mildly speaking, doesn't match the works of historians that we can often come across in wide distribution. We restore the stories that actually happened. You can see nothing. You can't see a partner if they move just a little too far away. If they even turn their flashlight away from you, you can't see them. You can tear the plating apart with your bare hands. Whatever you grab onto will slowly crumble right in your hands. Everything sort of works properly. You're sort of confident in yourself and your partner, but there's still some feeling of anxiety present. You have the feeling that everything will suddenly break. 